guys and welcome back to my channel i am starting off a weekend vlog i'm actually getting ready it is almost 11 a.m today of all days there's a little bit of sun that's happening in the city and it's september so there's gonna be very few of them. I decided to go to the beach or go tanning. Either I'm gonna go to like a city beach where it's just like sand and like a place where you can tan and stuff like that, or go all the way to a Toronto Islands, which I wanna make Toronto Islands like a full day or something. So maybe I'm gonna do just a city thing. Either way, I absolutely need some vitamin D. I This is the first summer of my whole entire life where I did not go tan, I did not not go to the beach I did not swim I didn't do anything and tomorrow I'm actually going to shop for my fall wardrobe because it's September in Canada and in America in general shit happens really freaking quick like it's early September and Halloween candy is already in the store and I was in Dollarama just this morning and they were putting up Christmas stuff and I'm so confused like America, get it together, get your timeline together. But either way, I wanna show you guys, this is a weird angle, but I wanted to show you guys what I got, just like regular stuff to just go to the beach or go tanning. I got this towel, which is from Amazon, and it's just like a huge one that I can take with me, and for good reason, because I love to also go to the park and just read a book or something. So now I can just use this one. All of my swimsuits are back home and I had to buy one. So I got this red one from Garage. I love that it has a little cutout in the sides and also the top right here. It was on sale on clearance because it's the end of the summer. Yeah, I just like needed to get me some and now I'm gonna get ready, pack some snacks and hit the road. All right, you guys, I am ready. I'm actually filming on my phone because I'm gonna leave my camera to charge. I just have this, my bathing suit and this, t this white t-shirt from Marshalls. It was like a trio of basic t-shirts. And then I'm wearing my shorts that I got from Fashion Nova last year. I packed my Diet Coke, I packed my snacks. Oh, and also I'm only taking my slides. You guys, I had leg day yesterday at the gym because I do two Pilates classes every week so monday wednesdays pilates and then friday is a gym day it's really hard to walk but anyway i haven't been in gym in a long time i haven't i have been in a gym all the time but i haven't lifted weights in a long time if you have followed my weight loss journey then you know i literally waited for the bus for like 20 minutes and realized that it was gonna be late for another 20 minutes so I went home, I got my Kindle because I want to read on the beach. I ended up picking to go through the water taxi and ended up in Howland's Point in Toronto Island because it was so easy someone was asking like who's going and they just put us in a water taxi so it didn't take that much time at all and now i'm here walking through a park there's like yachts over there it's beautiful but i don't know where i'm walking but anyway i made it i'm walking to the beach now but damn this park it looks so good On my way back to the ferry oh my god look how gorgeous you're gonna see but i am heading back i'm trying to find somewhere to take like a quick little pic but i'm headed back to the ferry and it's been successful there's nothing left for me to do so now i'm poking out my head to open windows because that's what i feel
I made it like 30 minutes earlier for my Pilates class so I'm just like sat here right now waiting for 7.30 because it was the only class that I could actually go to the other one was already booked so I went to Sephora I got a bunch of things that I'm gonna show you guys once I'm home I'm very excited to just get some movement in had a big ass pizza yesterday and I had so such a hard time digesting that it was weird because i've been like eating so clean well another day another sephora haul i actually did so much shopping actually yesterday and sunday for fall so i'm gonna be doing a fall haul in this vlog and it's gonna be a long one be ready i wanted to share with you guys what i got from sephora yesterday because they had an offer if you registered for a beauty insider then you get like this beauty insider kind of pouch and it has so many products so i'm excited to show you guys but i also for me i got this olaplex bonding oil just because my hair has been pretty dry and i got the way leave-in conditioner that i showed you guys i don't know if it was in this vlog i like it but it's creamy so you can't really put it on dry hair um so i got this bonding oil and i did it i put it on my hair yesterday and honestly i really like it's like softer and my hair is curly so you guys know so it's like way softer and easy to play with than if it was just the conditioner let's get to the little pouch first they have the it cosmetic superhero mascara and I always always love a mascara I feel like I'm always gonna need a mascara and mascara is like one of my top three necessities in my makeup like if I have to go anywhere if my house is on fire and I need to grab three makeup things Mascara is gonna be the first one the glow recipe guava vitamin C dark spot serum I am not a glow recipe girly. I've never tried it um, I don't know if I'm going to as of now. I'm doing the Paula's choice skincare not the whole routine But I'm doing the exfoliating AHA BHA something like that And also I'm doing retinol and I'm like going through the peeling phase of retinol So I'm not gonna add a new product so to speak then I got the Sephora Matif in moisturizer which again also not something that's compatible with my skin because I do have dry skin even outside of retinol so I have nothing to mattify <laughs> so yeah I don't I don't know if I don't know who will need this in my life I can give them that I did get the way leaving conditioner in the mini size this is the one that I got in full size and I told you guys it's great for after the shower like when your hair is wet but not really when it's dry so I actually really, really like it. and I'm happy that I got a mini one so I can take it with me whenever I travel I'm leaving the best for last then I got the Gucci flora perfume I smelled this already and it's so light and airy and springy I really love it little bottle also great for travel but the best for last is the Estee Lauder advanced night repair eye concentrate matrix and I am so excited for this because as I said I have my routine for my face but I also always feel like my under eyes are very dry although I moisturize them but to get an Estee Lauder eye cream like this feels like rich old lady all due respect i am so excited is it like how is packaging though oh my god i just moisturized my hands i can't open it this is what it looks like it looks pretty good for an eye cream because there's enough product and you don't always need a lot i'm going to be trying it and if i like it i'll probably get the full size one i'm so excited for my packages to get here all right you guys it's the next day and i'm gonna be showing you my packages as they come so i got my fall athletic stuff i only have shorts and i have to walk to my pilates classes and now it's fall and i need leggings but i also like leggings more for Pilate, for reformer pilates so just to show you guys the brand and i'm gonna have everything linked down below but it is mpg obviously the color palette is very much fall i just went off of my regular sizes so i will have to report back but the first thing that i got is this too big no that is this sports bra that is so cute in the back it is a medium support looks pretty supportive for me i love the design in the back the design in the front as well and with that i got these leggings they are kind of the same palette but not necessarily the same exact tone which is fine i just wanted like a couple 
outfits i also went with my regular sizing this is a medium so i went with medium my size us size is size six and everything if it's not a size six it's a medium so i got these leggings that are so soft they look so soft but also they have a good like a grip to them so i think they're going to be very fitted and i'm just picturing this with my uggs and walking to pilates like so cute like sometimes i think i'm a one of a kind but i'm basic as fuck <laughs> then i got this sports bra which is a more of a square neck which i think is gonna be good i hope that the girls don't fall off we'll have to try this out i really love the material it looks pretty good quality then the second leggings I think these leggings are actually the exact same tone. Are they? Kind of, again, but that is totally fine. And I just like want to wear these leggings with socks on top of them. And then, as I said, my sneakers or my Uggs or whatever. I hate working out at the gym in full-on pants leggings, long leggings. I actually hate it. So I'm going to keep my shorts for the gym. But the star of the show is the pumpkin one, which... I'm excited to go all the way pumpkin wise because I've never had, you know, in Morocco we don't really have fall and we don't have the pumpkin obsession at all. It's not really a cultural thing. So I'm excited to try pumpkin spice cake as a new coffee pod. I got another package. Randomly, I got these things for my three-year-old nephew. This one, like I'm adamant in making the kids learn english from a very 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 early age like i want them to speak fluently i got him this shapes and colors type of thing anyway this is for kids i don't need to bore you with this i got my adidas these are all over pinterest and i've been wanting sneakers to replace the air force ones the air force ones are kind of old now mine really hurt me when i wear them so i don't like them anymore but i wanted something that's still somewhat edgy that gives me some kind of a platform but also is like more so street style so i got the adidas gazelle platform ones in black and white i originally wanted them in beige but it's okay it's still like a neutral color so i'm okay with it this is what they look like they have this platform i don't know if this is I more found this on the web. oh my god apparently they run a half a size bigger so if you're technically an eight you have to buy a seven and a half which is what i did i'm technically an eight and i got seven and a half last piece of this fall haul i have gotten my package from cider shop cider.com i think it is i will have the website and everything in this haul down below linked directly so that you guys can check it out but i have gotten my package it took exactly 10 days 10 business days so two weeks so first i'm gonna start with all of of the fall sweaters that I got. I'm really digging the collar, like really put together preppy kind of style. So the first thing that I got is this one with a quarter zip and it has a little I don't know what it's called it is a little bit on the thinner side because the transitional kind of season by the way it is the absolute fall-ish type of day today i had sweater weather candle on all day it was windy it's gray it's actually 6 p.m and it's already kind of dark outside so i'm like dying right now but anyway this is the first sweater also you have the sizing you can either do us sizing if you know your us size or you can do cider sizing which you have to measure yourself and things like that and they would tell you what the size is mine is a medium this is just kind of my basic size and then I got another quarter zip that is a little bit on the thicker side. It's collared as well. And this time this I can wear this like on top of shirts, on top of like regular tops or whatever. Or I have worn it twice alone and I really love it. It keeps you warm, but also it's not too hot for when it gets hot throughout the day. You know how fall is like really cold and really um, hot so yeah i really really love this as well and then the third sweater is this striped sweater cream and black it's black but it kind of looks like dark blue so i love it colored as well as i said i really am into this like preppy type of style 
lately so i went all the way and staying on the preppy kind of theme i got this set this is a collared um green two shade of green type of sweater it is also like kind of thick and pretty good quality if you ask me and it has a collar right here but it's like pretty loose and casual and i really like it and i got the pants that go with it they are flared pants you guys saw in the last vlog i got my ultra mini is it the ultra mini no the classic mini uggs and so i plan to just wear them with this and i just love a good fall set the second set that i got is this flared pink type of pants i was thinking about fall but i was also thinking about getting like very simple outfits for when i'm gonna be back home because i'm going back home i'm not gonna say when but i am going back home so i just was looking into you know easy outfits fall friendly because it's still like hot back home in morocco so i got this like super casual and light type of pants i got the top to go with it it is a little bit cropped for my casual strolls casual days or also for my pilates classes i got these flared leggings in this milk chocolate type of color they are flared as well and i see myself wearing them with ugg boots as well i'm so sorry if it's unfocused so many times artificial light is really hard for the camera and then i haven't had a zip up in a very long time <laughs> like a simple black zip up that i'm just gonna throw on and just head head out the door this one runs very very small so i'm gonna link it down below as i said but just be sure to pick like if you want it oversized i got it in a large and it's still like barely over barely oversized like barely also to keep me warm and before i have to go all the way and wear my hefty jacket that's for the actual winter i bought this like a puffer jacket or something like that it's like enough warmth that you would need although i did wear it yesterday and it was so freaking cold that it actually it was hard to be warm but it was like specifically cold it wasn't like fall type of cold it's like easy to wear very comfortable i did want it to be a little bit more cropped but it came i this is a small this runs very large so if you want it to be small you have to go like extra extra small this has nothing to do with fall but i did get these little heeled sandals that i really love they are so cute and so dainty i just wanted to have i've left all of my heels again in morocco <laughs> if you're new here i just moved to canada last november so this is going to be a year of me living in canada and i'm going to be back home so there's a lot of things that i left there that i would love to bring back so i'm bringing back my heels probably but i did get this pair of heels just to have around in case of any date emergency. And lastly, I got, these are like a staple, just some regular sandals that are very cute and easy to throw on and in a tan color. They can go with anything and everything. That's about everything that I got for fall, the sneakers, the boots, the heels, the leggings, the sweaters. Like I went all out and I'm really happy that I did. I feel like I am building my wardrobe here because now we have four seasons therefore I have to have clothes for all seasons don't know if I'm gonna get a trench coat I don't know if a trench coat is really needed with Toronto weather because I feel like it's too cold for a trench coat now and it's like October so it's a little I don't know either way this is everything that I got for fall I hope you guys enjoyed the haul it's like full-on fall season right now i just had a thanksgiving dinner a friendsgiving dinner yesterday i'm just like enjoying the cozy weather and i've missed it make sure you subscribe to my channel because huge changes are coming into my life because i'm traveling and then i'm probably maybe maybe not going to be moving so we'll see you're gonna have to come with me on that adventure yet again those of you who were there last year that was crazy but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching for sticking around for subscribing make sure you share my channel make sure you like comment let me know what you think what's what are you excited about this fall and this winter if you're excited about anything i'm pretty much excited about everything up until new year's it's so exciting from now up until january 2nd and then you're like okay 
I'm ready for spring like winter we're done unfortunately it's gonna be a winter until April I will see you guys in the next vlog there's nothing left for me to